we are using post.cac because we are doing post incorporation so this is i'm going to log in with the uh, post incorporation login detail submit so this is how it looks like now if you want to download from here what you need to do you need the the registration number of that client or the name so let's say you don't know the number okay they've lost their document so you need to know their exact name how it is on on the cac so is it that you come here to type in the registration number the name the address or email so to be at server side get the um details make sure you get the details very well so i'm going to come in and put the name of the client okay put the name of the client then click on search this is it this is as you can see olunix multi-concept so um this is the first one here just be mindful of what you click on so you don't download another person's uh, certificate that would be a waste of money and time so you click on proceed to dashboard click on proceed to dashboard this is it over here this is how the post incorporation look like you can see annual returns and um, cessation change of name change of business name change of everything you can see all the things this is for business name so if i want to download the certificate for a business name where you need to come to is this satisfied true copy satisfied true copy if what you are downloading is a status report you can see business name status reports this is where to come to so i'll come to this satisfied true copy click on it then wait for it to to load okay as you can see request for ctc that satisfied true copy so if you click on start see the instruction here please fill out the form on this page okay so we are to proceed and you can also read the notes we have here companies and a lead matter i am according to our 2020 section it says that subject to the provision of subsection 2 and subsection 3 if any person in any return reports certificate balances or other document required by or the purpose for any of the provision of the act willfully makes a statement which is false in any material particular knowing it to be false he commits an offense and is liable so you can see the offense and what the person is going to pay however i believe you are not going to commit an offense so we're going to click on start procedure as you can see automatically it's going to bring it out Olunix multi sent something something so you're going to click on this certificate of business of registration of business name so once you click on it you put in a name authentication you can put the client name okay so let me just put my name please put the client name and put so proprietorship so but for the purpose of this class i'm just going to put a random something there because i'm not going to i've already downloaded the certificate so i don't need to put all that one again so i'm just going to click on save and continue as you can see this is it so the next thing is for you to make payments so if i come down and i click on proceed to payment it's going to take me to the same way we and how we made payments can you see this is around number i'm going to click on it and make payment but i'm not going to do that but there is um one of the thing for downloading on posting corporation i'm going to show you a query that i received so which means you need to have those documents down if you are downloading from posting corporation first your the client's annual return the client must have filed their annual returns you can't download certificates for a client if their annual returns is not up to date please you need to remember that you can't download a certificate from post corporation service if their annual return is not up to date the company must be active on cac dashboard i believe you know what that means already now another thing is that i'm going to log out from this account and show you other documents because you see this upload there are some documents you need to upload there so if you are using post corporation accounts you need to get all those things ready before you make payments else 
it will be query and i'll show you the query that i'm talking about so let's come back to dashboard and then this time around i'm going to All right, so you're going. I'm going to put in the client name. So this is the one I was working on. This is the one I was working on earlier, right? So to download the certificate, so I proceed. I'm going to click on proceed to dashboard for you to see the certificate. So this is limited. You can see that this at the left hand side, there are more menus, more items, more things you can do from here. What we are trying to do is to um, download the certificate. So I'm going to click here because I've already, I'm on it already, right? So you can see, I was, you can see I was able to download status report. So the next now is the query. Let me click on this approved so you can see. Okay, mem rant rather. As you can see, the document is still there. So if it has been a case of, um, if I'm trying, memorandum of association, so that's the first thing I downloaded. So I'm going to come back to dashboard. So now I'm trying to download the certificate. Look at the query I received. So I want you to take notes so that when you are trying to download yours, you will be able to get all these things if you are using accredited um Potter. Now look at it. You see, attach the first um, one that was given to me. The first query that was given was that inactive, visit CAC and update your status. You see, so as at that time, the name was not active. So I had to file a um, nine years annual return for them. The name was active. Then now they gave me second query. This is the second query now. Attach application letter and affidavit. So you know that I am, you remember the upload I showed you the other time. So you're going to upload, number one, the receipts you generated from RRR. You are going to upload application letter. You need to write letter to Director General that you want to download this receipt. Then the third thing you now need to do is affidavit. You need to go and do affidavit, go to court to do affidavit. So once you have those three things, then you'll be able to download the certificate. So that's just um for that's one of the things that but for you remember when we we're trying to download from public portal we don't have to upload anything but from here is posting corporation they want to be sure that you are the one downloading it so yeah so those are the ways so if i upload this document now if i answer this query and i click on mark as resolved i will be able to download the certificate from um download the certificate straight i hope we understand Thank you and I will see you in my next video. Don't forget to subscribe for more useful content.